Eva, wake up. Eva. Wake up. What's going on? Uh, she woke up at six. That's why she's not awake now. All right, welcome to this video, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of. <laughs> What's up? Welcome to this video. Um, today we're going to talk about failure. I don't even know what that means. We failed. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Hashtag we failed. Um, no, we're going to talk about the uh, 75 hard challenge. Y'all might remember us talking about that a while back. It's too bright. i got to put these on. I'm sorry. So it's not a challenge, right? As we heard well, on the podcast the yesterday. The initial 75 days is a challenge, but the whole year is a program. Um, I'll link our video to basically our results on the first 75 days um, below Basically, the 75 hard challenge is 75 days of a certain amount of tasks, and it's designed to challenge your your mental strength, your mental toughness. Most people end up getting some kind of physical transformation from it because it involves sticking to a solid nutrition plan. It involves workouts, um, drinking your water, like that kind of stuff. But the consistency biggest transformation is mental because you basically get rid of all your excuses. So. We finished the first 75 days in May, and then we have moved on to phase one, which is 30 days of a bunch some of, of the t same tasks, but adding on more. Yeah. So it's even harder, um, 30 days in a row. Even though we are doing the walk from the challenge, or uh, I guess program now, right? We're just sticking to the things that we kind of did normally, or like became habits already because of it. So I've already started over on phase one, S several times and uh so has she but less than me so oh i've started over three times you sir so, yeah so you started over four times we well, haven't started up yeah we quit you quit three times yeah and it's about to rain too so that's a, a fail for a walk as well <laughs> so uh yeah we're out here doing our walk we still get our water in we still get food in um, you know, like within our macronutrients, which is the diet that we chose. Uh, I, I still go over a little bit here and there, but it's nothing that's crazy. Um, it's not, I wouldn't consider it like a cheat or anything. It's just, it's, I think it's still within my limitation, but either way we've, we stopped doing, like we stopped restricting, I guess what we're doing. And it's not a restrictive diet or anything. It's like, we just wanted to focus on uh, like other things because she's starting a business. I'm starting a business. I'm starting my business over. Yeah, she's starting it over. I'm starting a new one. I'm still not sure of a lot of things. <laughs> I'll just kind of keep it there. So, and then of course we were also with family during that time, and like when we we quit the last time, and so that was our excuse for that one, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know. And so like we have plenty of excuses, but with that being said, we have quit, but we're not done. Mm -hmm. So we, we just quit for now. We we have <laughs> yeah we, we quit again for now. So we have a year to complete this, right? Or we completely start over with 75 hard. Mm -hmm. That's the so. main thing. I don't want to start the first 75 days over because I think that's the hardest part. Yeah. Everything from there is in 30 day increments, but um, I'm trying to stay in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> this is an arm workout. <laughs> the latest time that we can start the challenge, um, this leg of the challenge is what day? Uh, around, give or take quite November? a few days. Uh, it's November. Okay, so we've got time. I also don't want that to turn into more of an excuse for us to just do nothing. So we're still staying on track with our goals. Um, I've got a challenge with First Form going on where I'm leading a bunch of people, helping them to stay consistent and make some changes. I'm, I'm leading by example. I'm one of those people. He is one of those people. And so we're not like falling off the wagon completely. We're just not completing all of the tasks every single day from the challenge itself. And so um, Andy Frazella actually did a, a really good podcast, like a short little podcast. Was that yesterday? I think yesterday or two days ago called Crabs in the Bucket, and I will um, link it below. Basically, he's talking about people when they accept failure and they quit something. A lot of people are really quick to say, good job, you know, do what's best for you. And really, people are just, they're just praising your your excuses, really. That's, that's kind of what it is. And I've noticed this in the fitness industry. I've been guilty of doing this myself on both ends of, of quitting and supporting people that are quitting. Um, and it's, it's kind of a hard topic to touch on because everybody's case is different. But 
really what we want to do is lift each other up and encourage them to do better and be better. And that's what I do as a coach is I try to find that line of encouraging people while also respecting their, their personal boundaries, respecting their personal life, what's going to be best for them in the long run. Um, and that's what I try to help them find is what's going to be best long term. Push yourself. And we're, we're planning on doing it. It's just as of this time, I have some priorities that I want to focus on over the tasks of the 75 hard. I'm sure I could do them at the same time, but with the way that I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed and anxious at the moment um, with starting my business over and focusing on my whole shampoo business and things like that, um, I want to focus on those, take the energy that I was putting into the 75 hard tasks and put it towards bettering my business and those goals right now and so we're still moving forward we're still making progress but it's just in a different sense rather than 75 hard but we will be updating you guys whenever we do pick back up with the challenge because i think that's going to be really interesting to document the rest of it because a lot of people do the first 75 days and then they don't go on to do the rest of the program so yeah you get coins for finishing each section <laughs> so i have to do it <laughs> There are coins for each yeah, section, yes. I love collecting things. I mean, I was a Pokemon guy, but I have one coin so far. It's like that big. And then if we start in November, I mean, that's like a <laughs> do or die kind of situation. Like, we have no room for air for three challenges or three like legs of this of this race. And so it's not going to be ideal um, if we start then, but it's possible. So we may want to start earlier. We're mm -hmm. going to talk about that, but. I just want to get the, the basics of my business revamp taken care of. I mean, there's, there's a lot like what I'm wanting to do. I'm, I'm wanting to improve my experience for my clients, but I also want to um, be able to do more for them. But in order to do that, I have to completely restructure the program, the pricing, like the options. Um, and there's a couple things that I'm even thinking about doing. Um, like creating some custom things that will go along with the coaching. So it's going to be like an all-inclusive thing, but it requires a lot of work in the beginning. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. I guess that's something I can talk about is like what I'm doing to um, revamp my business. I don't even know where I'm starting. What am I starting with? I'd start with a business plan of some kind. Okay. Because <laughs> right now it's uh, she's kind of saying I want a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but there's no actual structure. And so once she gets the structure, then she'll actually have sort of a roadmap. And then once you have that roadmap, then you basically just little pieces at a time until you have a full business. And then of course you're never done with a business. You're constantly tweaking. Uh, I mean, it's going to be the rest of your life probably as long as you want that business. Yeah. <laughs> so well, yeah. I'm okay with which that. Which is good because it just constantly improves on the environment that you're in, which is the market. And uh, for your customers, too, because you're going to hear feedback, again, mm -hmm. constantly. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're running a good business, you hear it constantly. A little business there update. <laughs> Throw that in there. Sprinkle it in. Sprinkled in. Um, yeah, so that's why we're quitting 75 hard. But there's a stipulation. We're quitting it for now. We're not done. Like a metamorphosis, you know? We're, uh, we're done with that worm body. You know, we're starting our cocoon. Eventually we'll come out of the cocoon as a butterfly that likes to run or something. Did anyone get that metaphor? I don't... Was it a metaphor? Was it actually a metaphor or was I just... <laughs> I think my cocoon's, coffee? <laughs> my cocoon's broken. I'm going to stay as that little, like, goo. <laughs> my cocoon's going to open. I'm just going to, like, <laughs> just kind of, like, slide out and just... <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well. Oh, now the horse has come back. Sorry, Eva. I think that's for, that's it for this video. <laughs> what was that? What did I just watch? <laughs> if you guys did enjoy it, yeah. make sure you hit that thumbs up. If any of you are doing 75 hard challenge, we'd love to hear from you below. Um, I'd love to help if you need accountability. I've got a fitness Facebook group that I'm gonna be um, linking below. And basically I just post in there daily about my own journey. I do giveaways, um, I post tips, nutrition stuff, recipes, all that stuff. So I'll post that below. <sighs> but really, what am I watching? <laughs> yeah. It's like they quit. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> but then they didn't quit. 
And then they fell out of a cocoon, <laughs> talked about business. <laughs> this is our life. I don't know. <laughs> you guys buckle up, it's a weird ride. Why am I still watching? <laughs> I can't look away. Why am I pressing the like button? <laughs> Please do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Let's end this. Let's end this. <laughs> Y'all have fun out there, guys. Bye. Please do. <laughs> All right, I'll go back and get the camera now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, these are baby armadillos. Oh my gosh. I've never seen an armadillo this close. So they don't have very good eyesight. I don't even think they can hear very well, obviously. I mean, I'm literally like right here. goodness. Does anybody else think they're cute? <gasps> oh. Go little guy, go. Go little guy, go. Oh my gosh. What? I'm pretty sure they can carry a disease, so I'm not going to touch it. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, I'm, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna. Okay, um, okay, it's following me. Okay. They can carry diseases, right? Yes. What kind of disease? Uh, what is it? What kind of disease? Uh, leprosy. I don't know. Is it? It might be. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> uh, they, it's, uh, it has another name, but yeah, it's just another name for it. Oh, wow.